I think it's quite unfortunate that ladies are behaving this way and what is more unfortunate is not really what you're thinking. I want to explain to us now the way that these kinds of attitudes affect us as women. We really don't understand how we're doing ourselves a negative. We don't understand how we're doing ourselves a disservice when we behave like this. It's not about being ladylike so that people can see us as gentle or nice or good people. It's more about the quality of life that we we'll end up having. And I can speak to this because I've also behaved in a somewhat similar way as wild as these people are acting in this place. But I'm going to explain it. But I want you to watch this. See how ugly that looks. I know some people think that this is a display of boldness, but I want us at the end of this to begin to understand how these things affect us. If we really want to have a good quality life, let's watch this. This It just shows you how a person can lose all sense of reason because they're angry. And what makes this even worse is that the little children are right there and they've seen what is happening. I want us to begin to think beyond feelings of justification for when we feel provoked. Just watch this and see what this lady did. Just yes. 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 If you want to sleep there, you sleep there. Come and go this like you're not getting. Wala, Wala. Wala. Bros, just take a Just take a easy. No, 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 that one doesn't. That one, no talk, you'll be mad. You'll be mad, you'll be mad. As no talk, as no talk, you'll be okay. As no talk, uh, as no talk, uh, as no talk be okay. No, I saw a big for a side flight since. No, I saw a big for a side flight since. I saw a big for a side flight since. Alright, so I want you to watch the next one. This is somebody who has been aspiring for a political position in Nigeria. She's also a celebrity and she's some people's role models, I guess, because after watching this, you will see what someone else had, had to say about her behavior. Pay attention. Um, so that is Ton Chodike, first of all, a politician that is hoping to hold public office very soon. So that thing happened in Meitama. That particular video was sent to me by my friend. He said the thing happened on Wednesday and he was an eyewitness. He was there and he saw everything. So he sent it to me. It's like, video. the reason why I sent it to you is that they are trying to abuse power on this guy and they are trying to show him that they have connection. If you watch the video properly, um, Toto DK says something like, um, because of 2 million, you want to seize my 6 million era car? I will show you that I own this Abuja. Da, 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 da. So let me explain what happened. There are more videos. So let, me so let me explain. He's trying to explain. So I'm going to let you explain. I'm going to let you listen to his explanation. But right now, what I want you to get is that that was her voice shouting that she's going to show him uh, who she is, that he's trying to seize her car because of 2 million naira. Apparently, she's owing 2 million naira after paying most of the money, almost all of the money. She's still owing 2 million naira on the car. And then she's shouting at a man and throwing things around in their business, at their business place, um, destroying gadgets. And you can, you saw her there getting physical and attacking the, attacking the man physically. And people were trying to hold her back. I'll put more videos here so that you can see this. You can see what, you can see the human being that Tonto DK is. They understand now 
According to the story, because I've not spoken with the guy yet. Now my guy where did and I didn't send them to me. So according to the story, Tonto Diki came to this guy. She said she saw a Mikano car somewhere. So, um, but the price they told her was very expensive. So she came to this guy called Skywise Group in Mitama, and she told the guy that, please, I need this car. I like it. You understand? She told the guy that she liked the car. The guy said, I don't have it, but Mikano have the car. So they went there, they priced the car, and the car was 90 million there. So Tonto DK said she wants to do instrumental for Mikano. Then Mikano said, ah, they don't collect instrumental. She should pay in three months. Mikano said they don't collect instrumental. So this particular guy now said, okay, since I'm a car dealer, I own a very big car business in Abuja. Let's create a relationship. I will buy you the car. Then you, you can do that three months payment for me. There's no problem. So they now give the guy discounts because the guy has partnership with Mekano. They now give the guy discounts. So everything was now 86 million naira. The guy now collected the car, paid complete 86 million and gave Tonto DK the car. Do you understand? Just to create a relationship. Tonto DK now dropped 30 million naira. Remaining how much? 56 million naira. So as she dropped the 30 million, the guy gave her the car. First month passed, no installment was paid. Second month, third month, fourth month, no installment was paid. You understand? So the guy now said, ah, what's going on? Before I know it, in this thing, only seven months, no installment was paid. One day, after month pressure, turned to the canal and brought the car. She now came, now she should go and bring money for them that they should wait. She now eventually go and bring 20 million naira. When she brought 20 million naira, she now carried the car. How much can remain? It can remain uh, 30, um, 36 million naira. From there on, Tonto DK will not pay. She will bring one million. Bring uh, this one. Bring small, small money. Bring small, small money. Eventually, the money can't reach two million naira. It now remains two million. So that same person they've been calling now oh, since last year oh, till now. Eventually, she now says she now called this same guy now and say, "I want to service the car. The car needs servicing. Change oil and all that." The guy say, "No, wahala." They now collected the car. They now took it to Mekano. When they did service at Mekano, they now say, "Ah, we need some money." to pay them for servicing and also we we'll appreciate if you give us our balance today according to the story Tonto Dike now sent the guy a message and told him that he will see that i am mad today according to the story they said the guy did not believe anything the guy went out only for Tonto Dike to come to his office my brother and so Tonto Dike starts do you understand then they now called the guy they now called the guy to tell the guy that ah they are scattering your office so the guy now came see Tonto Dike so, wait, before then, they said the guy now told Tonto DK that you are scattering my office. You understand? Why are you scattering my office? You have not completely paid for this car. I can collect this car back because your name is not even on it. It was me that collected the car. Do you understand? It was me that collected the car. Um, and so they said Tonto DK jump was this guy. Start to the drag the guy said, Watch. <laughs> As you can see, see the way she started dragging the guy. We are make the refund. Our friends call the ginger. We are make the refund. We must collect the refund after you don't use the car for almost one year. After you don't use the car for almost one year, just two million naira, you start to scatter the guy's office. See the end result. She scattered the guy's TV, messed the place up. Do you understand? She messed the place up. This same person, they talk about bullying for Mubad. This same person, they talk about, eh, they were bullying. This same person, they talk. I told you people that you people don't know all these people. Do you understand? This is how she goes around. They abuse power. This is clear abuse of power now. This is abuse of power because you are now close to some politicians. You want to just take it on on people. It's not fair. Nigerians, need I remind you, if this was somebody else, if the man do this thing to a woman, nobody for your world. Do you understand? Nobody for your world. But now, hoping she will use her connection to get out of it. Do you understand? Now, see this part again. Who is present asking the police to go? Yeah, if you are leaning down for us. Yeah, I'm Yeah. 
But it's good. No, it's, uh, what are you doing? It's good. She is at the wrong side of the law like this with all this. It's good. So as you can see in the video, those people were begging her. You can hear the voice notes. That is my guy. Now that my guy now they talk. The one that entered the place when the team was crazy, he entered the place. He was the one that videoed everything and sent it to me. Right. So he now was not even saying why they not even woza. He just said woza she for calm down. Do you understand? Now you did wrong. Now you come on the scatter person office and you can see the the guy's staff, the sky wise guy staff, then he down the dead to the gate. They were begging her, almost she refused. Do you understand? She refused because she has the connection. Do you understand? And now this same person now won't enter power. Imagine what she never get power now. She doesn't have political power now. See what she's doing. Imagine if somebody like Tonto DK gets political power in Nigeria. Just imagine the terror. Imagine what common people we face. Do you understand? Imagine what ordinary people we face in the hands of the lives of those. Imagine what Tonto DK will do when she eventually get political power. We don't finish with that. Do you understand? And guess what? The sad part about this is that she can get away with it. Do you understand? She will get away with it. That's the funniest part. She will get away with it. Do you understand? Imagine saying now, man, I ain't bitter like that. Or I ain't arrasa like that. On top of your own money. This is on top of his own sweat. On top of his own sweat. And guess what? They even said that she even promised the guy that she would do advert for him. She did not do the advert. That the guy did not even bother. That, that's why the guy went to her and said, Come, it's not even you that have this cassette. Don't be me collect them. And you can scatter my shop on top. In short, I can pay your money and you go. Next thing, they change case for this guy. I start to be gathered and they beat them. It's not fair. It's not fair. We are trying to end bad government. This is the bad government we are talking about. Tomorrow now you go appoint this one now, Minister of Humanitarian. Because I guess that is why she's doing humanitarian on her page. Give her humanitarian now. We don't finish. We don't finish. This is part of the bad government we are talking about. And bad governments, now this ones that we talk about. Because if she get power now, we are done. But anyways, I know she's very well connected. We'll put the right measure. I heard that the guy has submitted a report at the Metama police station. I know she should get connection, so the team feel no work. Do you understand? But we will see do letter, go IG of police so that they can investigate the case properly and also to human rights people. You understand? I'll take it to all the human rights offices so that they can investigate. Then that's when we will know that if the law truly works in Nigeria or if it is connection that works in Nigeria. Because like I said, she will get away with this. She will get away. I can beat my chest to say she will get away with it because there are people in power that might stand behind her. This is what Nigeria has turned to now. Do you understand? Like I said, she will get away with it. She will. Hey, now wow. Don't do decay change. Tomorrow night, you are fighting against bullying. It is Ojoaya at the end of the day now. If you fight against bullying in public, then behind, you are doing it to people. It is Ojoaya. But God in high heaven is watching you. God in high heaven is watching the lives of you. Nigeria is our country and everybody has the rights. Okay, and next. Here is a lady who has something to say about all this. Listen to her. One person must buy when we agreed initially that it was instrumental payment. Make that car dealer show us the message of Tonto saying, I will not pay you, I will not give you your money. Let me tell you guys something most of these people, once they see celebrities, clouds, clouds go, they hungry them, they won't use that shine. Even if the person blow them breeze, they will shout, say, You don't slap me just for it to get on the internet. Excuse me, this video does not make her a bad person, just cut that crap. Celebrities are human beings, they are allowed to get angry if you trigger them, they are allowed to react. Someone in the comment section said, Now I know why Churchy left her. If I am not mistaken, Churchy is her ex husband, right? <laughs> Wahala. So because woman divorce, make them chicken for her eye, make she keep quiet, Abby. Now no, they ever cease to amaze me. Another one said, Celebrities and fake life. Fake life? With 84 million, which don't pay? Huh. If that is fake life, then we all want it. To the car dealer, there are better ways of handling situations like this. You have no right to see someone's car. You are not the police, you are not the courts. The only way you are allowed to seize her car is if you both sign an agreement that states that you can do that allow the law do its job i am say the boy the voice of the girl child it's funny to me somebody who is saying that people are allowed to get angry and to behave the way that they want to behave is at the same time from the other side of her mouth saying you're not the police you're not the law allow the law take its course i wonder what she really means and it goes to show that many times we talk without we just say what we want to say support what we want to support and then we still say something that makes it sound like we're making sense. I am Say the Boy, the voice of the girl child. 
And she said the voice of the girl child. That is terrifying. If a person like this can consider that she would be the voice of the girl child with the things that she says and the things that she has just said, that is scary. Um, but so that I am not, I don't want to castigate her. That's not really what the video is supposed to be about. What I want to talk about is to show us because I guess that she's feeling that being the voice means I speak up. Speaking up isn't always, speaking up doesn't always have to mean being aggressive. Standing up for our rights and ourselves doesn't have to mean being combative. And that's something that a lot of us miss. I am not going to castigate Cider Budge here, like I said. I am not going to castigate this lady. I am not going to castigate... In fact, I don't want to castigate any of them. What I would rather want to do is to just give a few pointers because obviously they don't know what they are doing and they don't know the implications for themselves. Forget about, like I said, forget about what you look like. Forget about looking like a lady for other people. I am talking about for ourselves. We need to understand how the things that we do impact our lives. It's all really beyond the surface. It's beyond what meets the eye. I'm not going to do that on this video because I think this video is already long enough. I just wanted to give you the um, explanation of what I'm going to be talking about. When I do it, I will refer to this video so that you can put the two, the two together. Okay. Okay. So look out for that video. I am going to title it, Standing Up For Yourself As A Woman. That should be really helpful.